Hello, this is Joe from IC Group again. With my last video, I started a series of videos that demonstrate the power of entry fields coming with uh, YSJ.net. Entry fields are frequently used in business applications, especially when it comes to designing entry dialogues. When writing business applications, entry fields are used all over the place, and the more versatile and powerful these entry fields are, the better the user experience becomes. YSJ.net supports a variety of controls that can be used to interact with the users. Actually, there may be one or the other control you didn't even notice yet. One of these controls is one you most probably haven't paid attention to. It's the label control. Okay, now you might ask, uh, label displays some text, so what's uh, so special about it? But there's quite a few nice things to mention that you might not be aware of. In fact, there are so many details and features that I decided to make a whole video just about the label control and his brother, the link label. Of course, one of the things the label control can do is to display text, it's typically used to display a prompt next to an entry field. But the label control of voicej.net does this in a more flexible uh, way, so let's have a look at, uh, at it. What I have opened here is an empty voicej.web application. It's a one-page application, uh, no controls, no code, nothing. So let's drop a uh, label onto the form. And there we go. Of course, a label has a name. Let's give it a name. My label. And label has a text. Uh, this is a text. Okay, and it's displayed. That's not very exciting yet, and this is what you uh, probably would have expected that a label is capable of. But there is more. Uh, one of the properties is the allow HTML, which I have set to true now. Nothing has changed yet, but now what we're doing is we're embedding an HTML tag inside the text property. For example, the bold property. Yeah, the bold tag. And now you see a part of the label's uh, display text is uh, displayed in bold. And we can also uh, combine this with other, other uh, tags, like for example, italic. Now the first word is displayed in italic font. Okay, the text align can be top left or can be middle right. You see everything is directly reflected in the browser, so it's what you see is what you get. Okay, what else? When the label is not set to auto, set, auto size true, set it to false, you can also resize the label. This comes in handy when you have to stack more than one control on top of the other and uh, you have set the label control uh, the docking property to dock at the top when the auto size property is set to false and you make the label very short and also you can set outer ellipses to true and what happened now is that the labels text is not word wrapped it's uh, shortened and to indicate that there is more text the three dots appear. They will disappear as soon as all of the text is being displayed. Okay, so what else have we got? We have the back color. You can change the back color to something different. You can change the four color to something different. This is all directly displayed in the designer. Labels can have a border. The border style can be solid, dotted, dashed, or double. Let's take solid. It's a little bit hard to see now because the back color is so dark. So let's uh, change the back color back to something like this. And now we don't see the text because the four color is, in, is white. Let's change the four color again. And now when we run,
you see the border is uh, displayed around the label control. I already mentioned the dock property. To see that better, well, let's use the panel. There we go. There's our panel. Now, when I set the dock property to, for example, top, the label is displayed on top. And now the text align property comes in handy. Now it's centered. What you can also uh, change is the font. For example, use the default font. Um, doesn't make sense now with this small label, but when you have allow HTML set to false and you use the default font, the default font has a higher priority than allow HTML. You can also set a font, uh, but it doesn't make sense to uh, to use the allow HTML, put some HTML tags into the text property, and then change the font, for example, to a bold. doesn't make sense here. But uh, if you don't use HTML in the text, the font can be changed right here. What we can also do is we can embed an image inside a label. I'll stop recording now to find some image and to take it over into this project. So what I've done now, I've added a smiley to uh, this project. And in the image source property, I select this smiley and it's displayed right here. The image is aligned to middle center, so let's align it to the left. And now we have a label with an image. Another property that comes in handy is the padding property. So if I change the outer size to true and I change padding to, let's say, 8 pixels, there's a gap between the content of the label and the border of the label. You can also make the label selectable And if I run the application, I can select the text inside the label. Just uh, this, this is almost the same as if it was an entry field that is set to read only. So it can receive the focus and uh, you can uh, select or mark uh, several characters. Okay, of course, you can set the visible to false to hide the label. This is basically uh, everything that I can tell you about the more important uh, properties of the label control. Uh, there's one more thing, which is an event, the click event. So when I double click in the designer, I get the click event and I can do some, something here. For example, uh, display a message box. If I run this, I click on the label and I get the message box. Okay, that's all for the label control. Now, now let's continue with the link label. As you might have uh, expected, the link label also has the name property and it has a text property and in the text property i'll in, uh, put some text in, in there for example go to ysj.net uh, so what can we do to display uh, this differently there is three properties that control what colors are used to display the links the first of all is the active link color which is red in this uh, case uh, this is the default. We also have the disabled link color and we have the main link color, which can be changed to violet, for example, or to what else? Blue. The link behavior is also an important um, property. How does it behave when the mouse hovers over the link? 
This can only be seen when we run the application. Now when I hover over the link, I get the underline. The link label control has also a link area property. The link area controls which part of the text inside the link label control is the actual link. And we can start at, uh, for example, position 6. And now let's go with the link behavior to system default. Now you see that only the last part is uh, underlined, which is the actual link. The first part is now simply standard label. The rest is a link. Okay, now let's go to the events. There is a link clicked event, and it has some event arcs. One of them is the link itself. E.link. And now for run the application. And I click on the link. I see the link itself. You probably noticed that the goto is not part of the link anymore. That's because I changed the link area. So, and this wraps up our little video. And I hope uh, you've learned something and you saw something that you didn't expect with the label. That's basically all I have to say about the label and the link label controls. I'm sure you agree that label and link label controls are more than just a simple control that displays an entry field prompt. And I'm sure that YSJ.net controls really stand out compared to other web development frameworks. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye bye.